welcome back love nation this is nina like share and subscribe thank you to everybody that has been coming to my channel make sure you hit that like button as well as that subscribe and notification bell so you know when i drop my next video so today i am going to be talking about this complete hot mess with cardi just going off on social media again concerning people putting out wild information that i'm definitely not going to sit up here and say that it's true however i think that cardi responding actually made this story a lot more worse than it actually should have been i definitely wish that she would have just been on her beyonce and just not said nothing however as always she did and i'm just going to put out some receipts on what went down on social media this week so she's basically saying that this social media person sleaze mirage um who is a known Nicki minaj a uh, huge super fan basically is calling her out uh talking about her her husband and these allegations that offset uh allegedly had a rumored uh affair with rapper sweetie who you guys know used to date quavo and she is basically going off on everybody about this talking about husbands she even brought up Nicki minaj's husband kenneth kenneth petty which that's a whole nother video because they were recently trending because the lady that accused him of doing uh the do and taking it from her back in the day um now they're saying that that story was not true and then you know it, it's just a hot mess this is a whole hot mess y'all i'm just gonna try to get into this the best that i can so she's basically saying that they're lying i'm talking about cardi b she's saying that they're lying they've made this stuff up and this person is saying that you know, uh, her husband, Offset, did have an affair with Sweetie. Now, to put my two cents in on this story, I really think that Cardi B uh, definitely needs to stop going off on these blogs, whether these bits of tea are true or not. Just for the simple fact, you're a celebrity. They know, they know you stay up on social media 24-7, and they know they can get a rise out of you by saying these things whether they are true or not they can make up something put it out and then all of a sudden cardi b is going off like she did on this social media uh Nicki minaj super fan so basically this is what i'm going to say about this situation you know i already know that she sued tasha k for defamation uh and tasha k owes her four million um, and then Cardi B also got into it with Black, um, Black T Blog, uh, a few days ago. I just think Cardi B is just doing too much at this point. If this stuff is true or not, I really do think that Cardi B needs to fall back and just ignore a lot of this stuff that is going on right now for the simple fact people are basically coming up off of using her name, regardless if these things have happened or not. Now, we also do know that Offset is not known to be the most faithful husband. I didn't add this tweet, but Cardi B did say in a tweet later that day during all those arguments that she would rather be with a cheater than somebody putting paws on her. And people thought that that was a swipe at Nicki Minaj and her and her husband, Kenneth Petty. And again... This is just getting super messy because, you know, I think that Cardi B needs to use her platform to just try to keep making music for her fans and just keep doing what she do. I think that at this point with her arguing with so many various people, honestly, I think it's bringing down her, her brand because if people are only going to follow and watch you to see what next mess you're getting into it with people that are literally putting stuff out there just to get their own names put out to make money, this is like a losing circle. Uh, people are not going to go and show up at her concert if she can't create new music to keep them interested. And, you know, just to bring down her brand 
if that's what she's trying to do. I mean, it just looks bad, in my opinion. I think that as long as people know that Cardi B is going to respond to the mess, that she will continue to do it, you know, and, and I, I think it's, I think it's just going to keep taking away from her music. I, I definitely think it's just going to keep taking away from her music. Now, why Sweetie was brought into this all of a sudden, I absolutely have no idea. I think Sweetie has just been off doing her own thing lately, and I don't even think Sweetie has even mentioned Cardi B, Offset, or even Quav Quavo recently. So, for Sweetie to be brought into this all of a sudden is very curious, but to see how this is starting to develop into Cardi, once again, get into it with another blogger. Basically, all I'm going to say is I definitely think at this point, if she cannot put out a hit album or, you know, a consecutive amount of decent records, she's just going to be known for getting into it with random bloggers. Because like I said, you know, people really are not looking at Cardi at this point for music. They're looking at Doja Cat. You know, they're looking at Nicki right now. Nicki has been putting out a lot of stuff that has her fans vibing. You know, you got other people that's coming up. I'm talking about female rappers that are basically doing what they need to do. Um, I can't remember her name, but there was recently a um, rapper. I believe she's from Nashville or, I don't know, somewhere either Kentucky or Tennessee or something. People have been feeling her lately. You know, she's bringing a fresh vibe into this. So, like I said, you know, there are so many things out there that needs to be done. And to continue to elevate females in rap music. And I just think that Cardi B is definitely wasting her time addressing everything. If your husband is not cheating on you, don't worry about what people are saying. Period. You know, if they're going to check to see what you're going to respond to with the allegations, they're not going to be checking to see uh, what new fresh album or anything you're putting out. So I, I really think that by her focusing on this constant thing, I, I mean, honestly, I really think that, in my own opinion, it's basically coming down to looking at esteem, you know, your self-esteem. You have to be bigger than what you're seeing. You're responding to random people that are literally getting a click in the view for basically saying, okay, your husband was with Sweetie, or, you know, yo, kids, X, Y, Z. This is what they know Cardi get upset. I know a lot of people would get upset. I would get upset. But getting upset and just responding and just spending half of a day, you know, going back and forth with random people, it's just crazy to me. When you have so many other things you could be doing, you could be spending time with your kids, you could be creating music, you know, you could be putting out new um, campaigns, you know, and it, it, it's just, it, it just, to me, it's just starting to wear thin. It, it's just really starting to wear thin. I really do think, in my own opinion, that I think Cardi would get more attention if she did not respond at this point. I really do. I think that people will honestly start to move away from even discussing uh, inflammatory type of things the way that they have been discussing concerning her personal life. If she just let it go, ignored it, blocked it, you know, and just just went about trying to secure her own bag. Because like I said, her fans, if it's a true fan, they're going to buy her music regardless if it's a hit or not. You know, if she's campaigning for some products, people are going to buy it if they're a true fan of her, whether they actually like it or not, because that's what fans do, you know. And if people are literally going to go on here and and drag her and her family constantly, you know, and if she's going to continue to move into that realm of responding, her true fans are going to stop waiting for her to put out music and campaigning because that's all she's going to be known for. It's just too many female rappers right now to concentrate on Cardi. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this messy situation. Like, share, subscribe. Till next time, enjoy your day and be safe. Bye, guys.